so I will basically be looking in depth in the concept of teratomas. Okay, all right. As we're talking about neoplasm, it's good for us to actually look at each of those terminologies that we are likely to be seeing frequently in the course of actually studying this um, uh, subject. Okay, so we're we'll looking at um, teratoma, and if a tumor cell is classified as being um, teratomic, what does it mean? All right. What are the criteria that actually uh, make a tumor cell uh, be called a teratoma? Okay, are you guys get to say that teratomas are basically tumors from? They could be of ectodermal origin, they could be of mesodermal origin, and they could be of what endodermal origin. Okay, so it thing goes like that. These are basically teratomas, and teratomas can occur to any system of the body, be it respiratory epithelium be it gastrointestinal epithelium, be it thyroid tissues, be it teeth, be it the bones, be it the adipose tissue, be it the neural tissue, be it the epidermis and the skin appendages, okay? All these uh, parts of the body are prone to actually have teratomas, okay? So guys, teratomas are congenital tumors from ectodermal, endodermal, and what? Mesodermal origins, okay? And the range from being benign, okay, composed of well differentiated cells arranged in a pattern resembling a normal tissue. You know that benign cancers they still look like the cells that used to be there, okay. That means they are well differentiated. So now they could range from this benign to malignant cells that are completely different tissues, remembering uh, resembling what fetal tissues. That's basically immature ones. So, uh, these teratomas, they could range from being benign to being what? Uh, malignant, all right? Malignant in the sense that, okay, they don't really look like the cells that used to be here, okay? They look totally different from the cells that used to be here, all right? So, guys, see this is teratomas, right? These are basically tumors of, they could be of um, tuderma origin, mesoderma origin, or... Um, Mesoderma origin. So we said that tumors with more than one neoplastic cell derivatives, okay, and they are derived from more than one germ cell types, all right, are called teratomas. Now, this is another comprehensive, comprehensive definition of what teratomas. They have more than one neoplastic cell derivatives. This is because they are derived from more than one germ cells, okay. It's either they are derived from what ectodermal origin and endodermal origin, or derived from endodermal origin, ectodermal origin, and mesodermal origin, or derived from ectodermal origin and mesodermal origin. Do you understand? They are derived from more than one cell germ layer. Okay. Now they arise from totipotentially what cells in the gonads or in the embryonic cells. They can be classified as matured, that's benign, or immature, that's malignant. Okay, you know that when you have an immature cancer, it's just like the cells are going back to the embryo type of cells. Okay, that's why we say that from the mature cells, the cells actually went back to being immature. Okay, so um, common sites where you can have teratomas include ovaries, the testes, the mediastinum, the sacrococcygeum. Okay, and sometimes teratomas can be monodermal. Okay, they can be monodermal. Like, for example, stroma ovary in the ovaries carries only thyroid tissues, okay? So, it could be that there are some ectopic thyroid tissues in the ovaries as the thyroid is supposed to be in the neck, but you can find ectopic thyroid tissues as far as the ovaries, okay? And that's what we call a stroma ovary. I'll say that this type of, uh, uh, this type of teratoma is what? Monodermal, okay? So, guys, that's it's about the concept of teratoma, um, teratoma type of neoplastic tumors, right? They say that a neoplastic tumor is a teratoma. At least from now, you guys should actually know what they mean. Okay, so that's it and bye for now.